Other really cool tie dyeing technique uh, is called pole wrapping and as the name says uh, you pretty much be wrapping your fabric around a pole. Uh, the effect that that makes is this zebra stripes kind of effect and it looks really complicated but actually is really easy to make and you'll see how easy pretty soon. So you want to have your fabric wet as usual and you need also a PVC pipe. These are pretty easy to get and they come in different sizes. You can get them wider and mine is pretty narrow and different sizes will make the pattern appear differently. So you want to start placing your fabric in the pole and as you roll it, you want to be scrunching it. So what you're trying to do here is to roll all your fabric around the pole, trying to avoid having layer of fabric on top of layer of fabric. So this is achieved really by as you roll it, just continuing scrunch it. Another section, scrunching it. Another section, scrunching it. So in the end you have your fabric all wrapped around the pole and scrunch it and you see that all these pleats here, that's what we're going to make the zebra kind of stripes um, in your fabric. If you dunking this into a dye vat, you also want to make sure that it remains nice and scrunched like this. So you can wrap it around with string or you can also just use a couple of rubber bands um, throughout it just to make sure that it's stays in this position. To put one in the middle. The one like this and I'm going to like give it a final scrunch. And after you're done you just dunk it on your dye bath and you want to make sure that your dye bath is deep enough for the fabric to be totally submerged and you just leave it there for one hour and after that you can rinse it and see the pattern that you made. So this is how you can make a uh, pole wrapping uh, tie dyeing. Mm -hmm.